OPEC, otherwise known as the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, is set to meet on Wednesday to discuss the extent of the impact that the Omicron COVID variant is likely to have on the oil sector. There is little indication that policy change is on the agenda from its current output plan of a monthly hike of 400,000 barrels per day. Ministers from Iraq and Saudi Arabia have indicated the group is likely to sustain this output policy, while OPEC plus leader Russia believes that there is no need for urgent action on the oil market. These headlines come against a backdrop of geopolitical tension, with the U.S. leading a coalition of nations, which includes China, the U.K., and South Korea, who are pressuring the group to increase supply in order to manage rising prices. Whether or not this dispute is influencing the decision-making of OPEC is unknown, but the emergence of Omicron has added a new variable into the equation which appears to have sidelined tensions, at least in the near term. The current plan is to add to global markets 400,000 barrels of crude per day. Oil prices experienced their largest daily drop, $10 a barrel, since March 2020 as news of the Omicron variant hit the headlines. The fear in the market is that the mutation will instigate fresh lockdowns globally, which eat away at demand. Several countries have already introduced a fresh wave of travel restrictions, and there are fears that current COVID vaccines will prove ineffective. It is important to note that the effects of Omicron are so far unknown. Policymakers globally are preemptively preparing for the worst case scenario, but it should be noted that the initial statement by South African scientists, initial observations found that while transmissibility was higher, the effects were not as severe.